In this lecture, we'll explore Cloud Data Proc. Cloud Data Proc is a managed hosting service for Hadoop and Spark. Hadoop and Spark are Apache software frameworks used for processing big data and distributed computing. Cloud Data Proc automation helps you create clusters quickly, manage them easily, and take them offline to save costs. So it's extremely cost efficient to run these large services on GCP considering the benefits you get. Like you have preemptive instances that are supported. Preemptive VMs are cheap, short-lived compute instances that offer the same machine types and options as regular compute instances, but only last up to 24 hours. Super fast. Typically, it can take from 5 to 30 minutes to create a Spark or Hadoop cluster on-prem. Cloud Data Proc clusters are quick to start, scale, and shut down, with each of these operations taking 90 seconds or less on average. It's integrated. Data Proc is integrated with other GCP products and services like BigQuery, Cloud Storage, Cloud Bigtable, Stack driver logging and stack driver monitoring. It's managed, meaning the infrastructure, upgrading, updating, and security patches for these services are all done behind the scenes by Google engineers. Additionally, you can easily interact with clusters and Spark or Hadoop jobs through the Google Cloud Platform Console, Cloud SDK, or the API. Some of the default open source components included with Google Cloud Data Proc clusters such as Hadoop and Spark provide web interfaces. These interfaces can be used to manage and monitor cluster resources and facilities such as the Yarn Resource Manager and the Hadoop Distributed File System, HDFS, MapReduce, and Spark. You can connect to web interfaces running on Dataproc cluster using your project's Cloud Shell or, or the Cloud SDK gcloud command line tool. Component Gateway, which is currently in beta, provides secure access to web endpoints for Cloud Dataproc default and optional components. Component Gateway cannot be used to access REST APIs such as Apache Hadoop Yarn and Apache Livy and the history servers. Component Gateway does not enable direct access to node port interfaces and here you can use the SSH SOX proxy. Compute Engine VMs in a data proc cluster require full internal IP networking access to each other in addition to the intra-cluster communication, which is 10.0.0.0/8 and 10.128.0.0/9 for regional subnetworks. This means the default allow internal firewall rule in a data proc cluster VM opens the UDP 0 to 65535 and the TCP 0 to 65535 ports. When you create a cluster, standard Apache Hadoop ecosystem components are automatically installed on the cluster. Additional components can be installed with initialization actions or directly on the cluster. Adding directly helps with speed, better compatibility, and a deeper integration. The supported components are Anaconda, Druid, Hive, Jupyter, Presto, Zeppelin, and Zookeeper. Some of these are in beta, alpha, and in general availability, as you can see in the table. You can scale the number of primary workers or the number of secondary workers, increase nodes. The order scaling is still in beta. Order zone placement. When creating a cluster, 
you can specify a zone, set it to global, or let GCP select an auto zone by leaving it blank. You can set metadata values and update properties to customize the behavior of initialization actions. Enhanced Flexibility Mode So when a data proc node is removed, the Enhanced Flexibility Mode preserved stateful node data, such as MapReduce shuffle data in HDFS. This is also still in beta. There's a high availability configuration that uses three master instances for the cluster to allow uninterrupted YARN and HDFS operations despite any single node failures or reboots. Initialization actions or executables and scripts that Dataproc will run on all nodes right after the cluster is set up. Typically, these are job dependencies or packages for programming languages like Python. A single node clusters are cloud Dataproc clusters with only one node and one master or worker. A staging bucket is created in cloud storage when a cluster is created. This bucket is used to stage cluster job dependencies, a job driver output, and cluster config files. You can enable Kerberos Secure Mode for Hadoop when creating a cluster. A user managed service account can be created when creating a cluster and used for data access and other data plane operations. This, con this user managed service account can't be used to perform control plane operations such as the creation of VMs. There are many layers in Dataproc. You can see here that there is the Dataproc cluster, agents, the engine, computer engine nodes, and the proc image. So here, the raw clients can connect directly to the computer engine nodes through the Dataproc agents and then the regular clients can use the Dataproc API and access it through the regular clusters jobs operations outputs. On the right here, you can see the cluster bucket and the cloud storage. You can submit a job to a cluster using the API, gcloud, cloud shell, or the GCP console. By default, cloud data proc jobs will not automatically restart on failure. The cloud data proc service. This receives job requests from the user and submits the request to the data proc agent. The agent runs on the VM, receives job requests from the cloud data proc service, and spawns the driver. The driver then runs customer supplied code such as the Hadoop jar, Spark submit, Beeline, and PIG applications. So there are three main connectors. The BigQuery connector. You can use the BigQuery connector to enable programmatic read-write access to BigQuery as it's a Java library itself. This is a good way to process data that's stored in BigQuery because no command line access is exposed. The Cloud Storage Connector The Cloud Storage Connector is an open source Java library that lets you run Apache, Hadoop, or Spark jobs directly on data in cloud storage and offers a number of benefits over choosing the Hadoop distributed file system. Some of these benefits are direct data access to data as it's stored in cloud storage so it's available to other applications with the Hadoop cluster is shut down and there's no routine maintenance required as you would in HDFS. With cloud storage, you can start the job as soon as the task nodes start compared to having to wait until the name node is out of the safe mode with HDFS. Cloud Bigtable and Dataproc Bigtable is Google's NoSQL Big Data database service that's used by most of Google's own core products. Bigtable is an excellent option for any Apache Spark or Hadoop users that require Apache HBase. Bigtable supports the HBase 1.0 plus APIs and offers a cloud Bigtable HBase client in Maven. So it's easy to use Bigtable with Dataproc.
A workflow template is a parameterized reusable workflow configuration that defines a graph of jobs with information on where to run these jobs. You can avoid editing the workflow template for each run by defining parameters in the template. And then you pass different values for the parameters for each run. If the workflow uses a managed cluster, it creates an ephemeral cluster, runs the jobs, and then it deletes the cluster when the job is finished. If the workflow uses a cluster selector, it runs jobs on a selected existing cluster. It won't delete the cluster after this. Workflows are ideal for complex job flows as you can create job dependencies so that your job starts only after its dependencies are completely successful. Some use cases. Automation of repetitive tasks. Workflows encapsulate frequently used cluster configurations in jobs. Transactional fire and forget API. So workflow templates replace the steps involved in a typical flow which include creating the cluster, submitting jobs, polling, and deleting the cluster. They use a single token to track progress from cluster creation to deletion and automate error handling and recovery. Support for ephemeral and long-lived clusters. A common complexity associated with running Hadoop is tuning the right size clusters. Ephemeral clusters are easy to configure since they run in a single workload. Cluster selectors can be used with longer-lived clusters to repeatedly execute the same workload. Granular IAM Security Creating Cloud Data Pro clusters and submitting jobs require all-or-nothing IAM permissions. So the templates use a per-template workflow templates dot instantiate permission and do not depend on cluster or job permissions. For more details check the link in the description. Learn with Wits Labs. Success Certified.